The uh, final uh, technique of gas transferring that we'll talk about is uh, the simultaneous transfer of two gases. Uh, for example, uh, acetylene or ethyne and chlorine react violently with each other and uh, we couldn't transfer them from one syringe to the other. Um, that would be dangerous. But we can transfer them simultaneously underwater, for example, using two latex tubes. To do that, to make sure they are able to mix, I'll just take and tape the two pieces together with a short length of electrician's tape or any waterproof tape will work so that the ends of the syringe, uh, uh, latex tubes are side by side. Okay, Then I can connect one of them up to chlorine and um, let's learn another interesting technique while we're at that, uh, while we're at it. Uh, in order to let any of the chlorine out into the room, which would smell awful, uh, I'm going to simply pull the plunger back by a couple of milliliters. Okay. And then we're under slightly reduced pressure in here. So now I can take off the cap. There was a little bit of a hiss. I don't know if you heard it, but that was air running in. That's not a problem. Acetylene also smells a little odd, so I'll do the same for it. And now I've got both gases connected to this latex, to the latex tubing, and I can discharge them simultaneously underwater. This will produce uh, some underwater fireworks. We could keep going, but we're producing a little bit of soot in the vicinity. So I'll stop now. Again, in order to minimize the amount of odor that may come out associated with this, in fact, completely eliminate it, I pull back the plungers. And now I got to remember that the gases also have a little bit of air in them. That doesn't affect most experiments, however.